Uh, so tell us your name and what you do. My name is Shane Parfit. I'm a product manager here at AMD in Toronto. All right. Uh, what are you showing us here today? Today I'm going to show you how to bring 3D entertainment into your home with AMD HD 3D technology. Okay. Uh, what kind of entertainment? Uh, lots of stuff. So there's 3D photos, 3D videos, Blu-ray 3D playback. But today I'm going to focus on immersive stereo 3D gaming. Okay. Uh, well, can you show us what we need to get this set up? Yeah, so AMD has taken an open approach to stereo 3D, so what that means is there's many options to choose from in both hardware and software for setting up one of these kind of systems. It's all kind of detailed on our website. Okay, I, mean, I can show the URL at the bottom of the screen if you want. Yeah, please. All right, done. Um, okay, so it's pretty easy to set up? Yeah, I'd say so. And pretty fast to set up? Very. How fast? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, well, we'll see about that. I mean, you've got 60 seconds. Go! Okay, so you need a 3D TV, HDMI 1.4a compliant. should come with its own active shutter glasses. If not, you can buy them from the manufacturer after the fact. You need an AMD Radeon HD 6000 series graphics card with HDMI output. You want that installed in a pretty decent PC right here, uh, all connected with an HDMI cable. 15 seconds. Now, to play almost any video game in Stereo 3D, you need Stereo 3D conversion software from either IZ3D or DDD. So we've chosen TriDef 3D Ignition from DDD. Uh, you can get that at TriDef.com for a 14-day trial. Uh, it comes up with this interface. You need to make uh, just a couple settings here in display settings. Make sure that AMD HD 3D technology is selected. Now to play the game in Stereo 3D, you need to launch it from the TriDef 3D Ignition interface. Uh, you can see it's picked up our Medal of Honor title here. You can scan for more titles or add them manually. So we just got to double click there and launch it, and we're ready to get our game on. 50 seconds. So the interface comes up. As you can see, the display has automatically detected the 3D signal, so you want to put these 3D glasses on. I'm going to put my 3D glasses on and enjoy a stereo 3D fragging session right now.